Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbo's product team. Today, we're going to be talking about labor categories in Limbo. Labor categories allow users to categorize their labor to log their time. For example, you can create different labor categories for weekends, overtime, holidays, or other types of labor that impact billable hours. This is extremely helpful in automating the calculation of total billing costs to other departments within your organization or clients when needed, and allows you to report on total costs in each labor category you create. This video will teach you how to create labor categories, how users will use labor categories when logging their time, how to change a labor category logged on a task, and how to look at labor categories on the custom dashboard. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limble, some of your screens may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Let's get started. Let's talk about how to create a labor category and the available customization options. Only super users can create and configure labor categories. Navigate to the Configurations tab of the Settings page. Under Labor Categories, click Customize. In the new window, select Add Labor Category. Now you can edit your labor category. It's important to note that when you enable labor categories, users must select a labor category when logging time or completing a task. For this reason, be sure to make a regular rate in addition to any other categories you want to create. For each labor category, you can configure the labor rate and the billable rate. For each rate, you have the option to use a fixed dollar amount or the user's wage. A user's wage is configured in their individual profile on the Manage Users page. From there, you have the option to add a multiplier. For example, overtime may be calculated as time and a half. In that case, you'd enter 1.5 in this field. Or you may add a multiplier of two to billable hours, knowing that you'd need to consider overhead costs. Once you've created your categories and configured your desired wage settings, the labor categories will be ready for use by your team. When labor categories are created, a user will be required to select one when they log time or complete a task. In this example, I'm a technician who got called in for an emergency over the weekend, so I need to log my time as overtime. When I go to complete the task, I'll add my time and under Labor Categories, I'll select Overtime Rate. Keep in mind that users can only select one labor category at a time. If they need to log some regular and some overtime on their task, they should log those times separately using some combination of the Log Time button and or completing the task. If a user mistakenly selects the wrong labor category when logging time, they can simply click on the labor category from their log time and choose the correct category in the new window. If a user mistakenly selects the wrong labor category and completes a task, any user with the ability to edit completed tasks can change this using the same process. It's important to note that total labor costs for a task are only visible in a completed task state and can only be seen by users who have permission 142, view labor costs enabled. Not only are labor categories beneficial for billing, but they can also be a great reporting tool. For example, I'm a facilities manager trying to justify hiring an additional technician to my team. I want to show my boss the amount of overtime my team is clocking to keep up with the work required to maintain our facility. From the custom dashboards page, I'll create a tile widget looking at total time spent on tasks this month. From my options in total time spent, I'll deselect all categories except overtime. When the widget generates, I see that my team of five technicians has collectively logged over 160 hours of overtime for the month. Now I can share this information with my manager to explain the cost and labor benefits of adding another technician to the team. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our Help Center or reach out to our support team to learn more.